Here's my 1970 Olds 442, better known as the Goodyear Grabber Olds. It's built by Vic Hickey and General Motors and raced by James Garner in the 1969 and 1970 Baja 1000 and 500. The car is being completely updated for some safety and performance features to run next month in the Nora 1000. We're going to rerun the original desert race in a rally format and I have Rod Hall, veteran driver, doing the duties of driving the vehicle in this race. Rod Hall Racing. Car's all original. Original gas pedal down there on the floor. You can see that's the original Caspel and Garner Ram. Original Speedo and Tack. The rest of the gauges are all new ones updated, but had to keep the main ones for just because it's the original air box that fed the motor. Got a 35 gallon bladder fuel cell, dual Optima batteries on both sides. Battery selector switch, spare drive shaft. I ended up building a full NASCAR full floater rear end using a 12 bolt housing, 35 spline axle and spools. I have C3 fab control arms with adjustable uppers. Four ten gears, king shocks. Here's the upper shock mounts. Did a high lift jack. Uh, we got two spares in the back. I'm sponsored by BF Goodrich for this event. Spend a lot of time getting this thing together. Car should run pretty good when it's finished. It's got the original 410 experimental Oldsmobile motor in it. There's only four of them originally made. And this is the only one known to exist. Those are not the tires and wheels running. That's for setting it up. It's the original fuel cap. Le Mans fast fill. Right down inside. I'm just finishing the wiring, electronics, all the good stuff. But we have, you know, retained pretty much all the original components. And with a few electronic modifications, we used the original military box that was in the door for supplies and turned that into our fuse box electronics central. Drive lines were supplied by Dennis Mothershed at Victory Race Cars. The killer uh, 4130 drive shafts. This air cleaner system feeds into the firewall, which feeds into the big box you saw in there, and that's where the air supply comes from. Run dual MSD ignitions on it, click of the switch, go from ignition A to B. Uh, run Edelbrock intake and carb. They sponsor me, so I gotta run some of their stuff. Flexalite donated a custom built one off mega cooling fan set up. And at the same time, they supplied. Dark in here, but I got a oil cooler and fan set up, and then I got a tranny fan. Right now we have the skid plates off. We're doing some work underneath it. But we've got a full belly pan three quarters of the way back. Just in case we uh, encounter something ugly. But this car should run good. Years worth of work. 
don't know how much money in parts. I'd rather not know. But thanks to all my sponsors like MSD, Edelbrock, Hook, Headman Headers, Flowmaster, BFG, Energy Suspension, C3 Fab, Mastercraft Performance Seats, and the list just goes on and on and on. This car should be uh, up and running very, very shortly. We hope to get there. I even have my night watchman that sleeps in the shop. I lock him in. He watches over my car. So the center call. Yep, that's it. And of course, you guys know I got the original Steve McQueen race truck, also driven by Bud Eakins and Mickey Thompson. It's all original. We were going to run that too, but yeah, I just didn't want to do too much. And when I get done with that, I got this original Walker Evans built pro truck that was never completed. So this will be my next one. I'm probably going to make it into a street pre-runner. I have enough race trucks, so I think we'll just make something really cool. Put trophy truck suspension, get a whole bunch of travel. You know, just it's got a uh, 40 spline spool, Dana 60 in it. This is a pole race one. It's a the sandy cone rear end. And of course, you remember my class three blazer that's taking a nap until I finish with the Garner car. And the Garner car, as you remember, is that car right there. That's the car that James Garner raced in the Baja 1000 in 1969. And very, very soon, Rod Hall will be driving it again in the Nor Mexican 1000. This is the same car. Even the original lights are still on it. But thanks to King and everyone else that came on board, you know, the car should run really good. A lot of updates, a lot of upgrades, a lot of safety enhancements enhancements. The dyno was 508 horsepower. Joe Mondello built the motor in 69 and he bit the same one he built me again. I'll get some more updates soon but car looks rough but we're doing all the hard work and it goes into paint next week and ready to race in two weeks.